Hello and welcome back again my friends with Bitcoin price prediction or Bitcoin forecast or BTC price prediction. This is Thomas with you again guys. We came back in another video and as you see guys here the daily candle was it done for us here. Exactly what else we said before. If you remember we said here you used to have here a head and shoulder here and when it's breaking here in that candle we calculate it from here down and we say that it's going to go till here. Exactly till here. Till now it hasn't reach exactly but it's bringing nice profit till now and people they've been with us as we enter exactly from here because we used to have here a pending order we enter in it so the first order we enter it from here second one we enter it from down here so we started thinking of to sell what we buy from here and what we buy from here guys why i'm going to tell you why in that video so make sure to watch all the video from the start till the end guys so let's start guys so here in the daily guys there is nothing new us we still have here that inside bar that one of ftx that one here or the collapse of ftx and we said it need the market to come up or to break up for us to know the bitcoin is going to change as the downtrend to our uptrend till now there is nothing new guys also we still in a downtrend even if you see all that going up or guys also we still in a downtrend tell is going to come and to break here and to confirm that to you everything is too clear and another thing let me show it to you here look where you are you are in that last low here if you remember it was before we used to have here a very stronger supply and demand zone like that guys now you are in it here again now either from here we're going to go up and we're breaking inside and that one is going to be the bottom guys that way also we buy from down here because maybe that one is going to be the bottom and no one can know exactly guys where is the bottom or maybe another scenario from here is going to fall down and to break for us that last low here and it's going to go to 10k as majority of uh, retail traders they saying all of them they waiting to buy from 10k i don't blame them that normal but i'll show you if you remember in the options what me i told you i told you all the people they saying the bitcoin it will not go higher than 18k all that week so let's wait and see what's going to happen and tomorrow is coming very 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 huge news guys by the way before we go into the news you you watching me now are you not yet subscriber make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the bell notification on to receive all our latest updates and videos also every day we put in for you two videos every day two videos one after european market clause and one after the daily candle clause so like that you're going to be very 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 well updated about what bitcoin doing right now it's not something hard my friend it's just a red button down click at that next to it a bell turn it to also like that when we put in something new you're going to be notified you done it welcome to the family my friend and here in the daily guys if you remember what me i show you as you see it here down we have that level here or that down of that wage and here you see it be i got it with trade here because that one is coming from here and we are in it again and over here me i said as you see it what i've done to it because that one is a very 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 stronger level guys that's why me i told you tell now us we still in a downtrend nothing was changed guys and here now it given us a very clear channel like that guys look at it very 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 clear channel here maybe from here we're going to go to touch here that is going to be the best scenario happening to the bitcoin if we go up and we touch here that is going to be the best scenario is going to happen to the bitcoin but let's wait in guys because as you see it we touch the lower here and we touch the top here so maybe now we're going to go tell here but that level where we are now it's very 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 important guys that level here is a very 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 important level and the people they've been with us i told you if it came and breaking here it's going to give you a very 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 well known wake off pattern guys let me show it to you for the pictures will be more clear to you as you're seeing guys look with me here if we came like that and we do it like that and we came here to the top and we do it like that so now what you see in as you see here in that place here the bitcoin is being sideways then it's breaking down here in that zone now if that one came inside here tail up here that 100 percent here is the bottom guys but if it doesn't come inside only from here then it's showing it's falling down 
that man that one used to be a support when it's getting broke it become a stronger resistance here and the bitcoin it will continue falling down more guys everything is too clear guys so tell now we don't have nothing new here also we still in a downtrend guys now we're going to see the coming news for tomorrow for the picture to be more clear to you the coming news for tomorrow guys as you see it is it here that the news we got tomorrow and we got very 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 huge day tomorrow guys we got that one here the cpi of uk or inflation of uk let's see if it's going to fall down or no that's something uh, no one know about it then we got that one guys that one is the most important news that month guys all the people they saying the fed is going to increase rate by 0 0.50 if we do that that man we are pivoting guys if the fed done this we are pivoting because now the interest rate of usa is four percent if the fed increase rate by 0 0.50 it's going to become 4.50 percent yes or no before the fed it used to increase interest rate by 0 0.75 75 guys so that one is going to be the pivot if we do that that's man january they are going to increase interest rate by 0 0.25 guys i think picture is too clear to you guys so tomorrow we're going to know what the fed they are going to do tomorrow is the most the most the most important day guys because tomorrow we got two huge news we got the one the interest rate of usa then we got the press conference of jerome powell of federal reserve because that person he's going to tell us what is it the view for 2023 guys and the interest rate is going to confirm that to us everything is very simple guys so try to stay safe don't open any scalping or day trading trade at that time because it's going to be a huge volatility guys and i'm going to come back to you actually it's going to be at seven o'clock before uh, the football starts everything is too clear guys and here our friend the table us every day we follow it what it telling us guys as you see it it telling us all your stocks today they are green because the cpi or inflation will came today everything it's look green guys the nasdaq the dow jones the sp500 everything it's closed the day green and that's something very good guys but here at that our friend here our friend here it's still too high guys as you see it we're still above 20 we are 22.55 we fall down a little bit because we used to be 25 now we fall down to 22 but we're still too high guys plus the us dollar here or the dollar index is 103 fall down but not that much picture is too clear guys here now it's going back to see our indicator what is saying for picture to be more clear to you our indicator guys as you see it it came here it touched that level here so the people they buy with us from here and here at that level where we are now here try to sell what it equal the money you buy from here and here i'll show you all those things as i told you how to do it so let's say you buy between here and here 100 dollar let's make it just a small example of that now you are in profit in that level here you are in profit sell just your 100 dollar make it as cash and leave the profit to stay there if it go up fair enough if it fall down down again you will have free cash to buy more guys everything is very simple by the way the trading strategy or that money management strategy is it very 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 well explained in our crypto investing course the the course is it in the first comment if you're using the couple link down it will not cost you that much it's only 13 bucks and believe me that course even if it's a 13 bucks guys is better than million of courses online they sell it to you by 1000 and 2000 dollars the information in that course is highly 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 information guys you're learning from professional people not from people they never ever trade but that is up to you guys so guys me personally i think maybe from here we're going to see another drop or maybe from here we're going to go higher and we will break here the downtrend also we be in following from 2021 guys people they've been with us as we've been following the downtrend from 2021 and as you see it let me show you a little bit about it as you see it guys every time we used to come to it we fall down every time we came to it we fall down now if it came and break it that meant the downtrend 
where we started the Bitcoin all that long is going to change, guys. Everything is very simple, guys. So let's go in now to the four hours to see what the Bitcoin doing right now in the four hours. Here we are, guys, in the four hours. Before we start analyzing the four hours, did you smash the like button? I know you don't. Pause the video now, smashing the like button, writing down a comment, helping us, guys. You know that channel with how you can grow up. Yes, you. Pause the video now. Smash the like button, writing down a comment, support us. You done it? Thank you very, very, very much, my friend. And I appreciate all the help I get from you guys. So, guys, here in the four hours, what me I told you here. And I show you here that example. Some people, they never ever trade. They just see us. We tell you we got here an uptrend. When it's breaking here, they told you to enter. And me, I told you no, because us, one, two days, we don't put in a video. So, those people, they being stuck getting to give you the right information. Us, we tell you it need to break here. If it doesn't break here, all that is a false breakout guys because look where you are you are above the 200 moving average and today it came the cpi data and look where we are it gave us here a new high guys so now what shall we do same thing we do it like that we got here a up channel like that and we will wait in the break if it's going to happen down if it's breaking down we will enter short yes or no and here for the long guys watch me i told you here i told you we got here a flag like that if you remember the last video i tell you only that i told you it's not yet guys the tech profit of that flag it's need to be here at that level did it bring for you the uh, tech profit not yet my friend not yet look wh where we are not yet it's still very very early and look at that volume guys what it doing by the way in our technical analysis course we explain a lot of things about that volume look where we are so it might guys that one just a trap and you're going to see the bitcoin from here falling down guys told you into long now no my friend us we enter long from here people they've been with us us we enter long from here exactly from here why we enter long from there let me show it to you you can just go back and watch all those things in our channel guys us we enter long here because we used to have here a triangle like that when it's breaking here we enter long from here it came here i told you protect yourself protect yourself that man not to sell everything you sell what you buy i show you how to sell at all in our crypto investing course all those things they are very 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 well explained now you are at that level what shall you do people in my course they know all those things in that level you need to sell a little bit of that profit in that level here and you left some extra money guys because majority of people they're losing the money of them why they know the right place where to enter but they don't know how to take profit that's why you see a lot of people they're losing the money of them us here we're protecting ourselves we're taking some profit here we will take some of the profit we will not take everything because all that is free money all that money we got here is free money so if it's go up more fair enough extra money everything is very simple guys so now what should we do here nothing we need just to wait i told you we got here up channel like that we need to wait it no matter how long it's still going up us we are not going to do nothing but if it came and breaking down here we will enter short again guys and i'll show you the level where we are here look where we are we are in a very 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 stronger supply and demand zone and even in the daily i show it to you should you enter short no my friend no it's not yet everything is too clear guys now let's go into see our indicators what the same for picture to be more clear to you our indicator guys as you see it us we are here at the overbought area people they've been with us us we enter from down here when you enter here at the oversold area when ftx collapse and us before ftx collapse we enter short if you want me to show it to you i just go back like here like that also we enter before ftx collapse because we used to have here a divergence here we enter then it give us a cup and handle then also we enter short we fall down till down here we take in the profit then over here when it enter here to the oversold area it gave us the triangle and we enter long till look where we are now now we enter here to the overbought area guys should we enter short now people they've been with me write it down in a comment tell us should we enter short now no my friend there is no price action indicating for you you need to enter short even here it gave us here a divergence as i show it to you in the previous videos but what may i been telling you it need to break down here that level here it doesn't break it guys look it came down here to that level here then after that it went up or tell the overbought area and it's breaking even the divergence line we used to have here it's break it here now we are here at the overbought area guys should we enter short no there is no entry short yet Also here actually in the four hours the bulls will control now 
there is no bears down here there is no one selling at this moment guys there is no one selling everything is too clear guys so let's go in now to see our other indicator what it's safe for pictures to be more clear to you that one here guys i show you used to have here a divergence and even now we have here a divergence look at it if you do it like that and you do it like that you got a very clear divergence here should you enter short no my friend look at it it's enter here to the overbought it's enter here and now we are at the overbought area that way me i told you oscillators don't follow them and don't follow indicators i don't need to enter short now because there is no price action here indicating for you to, you need to enter short and me what me have been telling you level we are in a very stronger supply and demand zone guys second thing indicator to be at the oversold area or overbought area we are here at the overbought area guys third thing and that one the most important one guys is the price action Did you got any price action here you got only that channel or that up channel should you enter short not yet as here got extra information from me we used to be here at the oversold area yes or no level we used to be in a very stronger supply and demand zone third thing what is it we used to have here a price action when it's breaking here we enter long guys look tell where we go that how us we trading guys over here in that level here we protecting ourselves stop lose we put it down here same thing now us we need to wait in a price action guys before here before ftx collapse we used to have here a divergence like that yes or no it give us here a cup and handle here people they've been with us all those things this year then us we enter short it fall down down tell here guys making very 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 nice money that day everything is very simple guys just some people they never ever trade they make trading very complicated so guys now it's going to 30 minutes to see if there is any scalping opportunity for tomorrow so let's go in there here we are in 30 minutes guys here in 30 minutes what me i told you i told you we used to have here that triangle here as you see it when it's breaking here i told you to enter long actually us here we enter long down here because we used to have here a cup and handle down here it came to here i told you protect yourself why because you are in a very stronger trend line like that as you see it then it's breaking for us that trend line here but me i told you don't enter why because the cpi information guys and the cpi you see the volume okay should you enter short now here in 30 minutes because the our indicator is it here at the overbought area guys should we enter short no there is no entry short yet the only price action you can do here is a trend line like that and you are very very far away from it what me i told you people they being with me what me i told you i told you a falling knife a falling is the same thing guys even when it's going even the one it's a going up knife with power let's make it like that you can't catch it what me i told you i told you enough a knife it's falling it's need to touch the floor and bounce to reduce the speed of it same thing now here is a going up rocket you can't catch it now what it's need it's need to bounce here to reduce his speed for us to look in to enter and it's need to give us here a price action indicating for us us we need to enter yes or no if it's not maybe from here is going to fall down then it's going to give us here a price action then also we'll enter long again everything is very simple guys let's see our indicator what it's saying guys our indicator guys as you see it us we've been here at the overbought area should we sell no my friend it's need a price action here there is no price action there yet so we need to wait until it give us here a price action indicating for us us we need to look in for short now there is no price action yet so there is nothing to look in for here as, as a scalper or day trader everything is too clear guys so that's it for that video see you after european market close bye for now guys